Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. I had a request of making a, a VR headset for a friend and um, I don't have a 3D scanner so I was thinking this is gonna be impossible to do because I can't go and design something in the 3D program that is uh, this filled with details. Um, so I went on to onto cults uh, three um, dot com and searched for a VR headset, and I got lucky. Someone had scanned this one. Uh, this is the Meta Quest three, um, and um, had put it up for free, so you can use it if you want to make something for your VR headset. You can use that file to kind of um, work around it but I took that file and I shrunk it into 12% of the hundred so that is now 1 to 12 and then I printed that on my uh, resin printer um, and now I am just going to paint it into a gray color and here I am painting it into a kind of two dark gray color so I am going to paint it over again later um, but I am also going to place a link for the 3d print for this in the info box below and you will of course have to resize it yourself just go into the option of percentage and type in 12 instead of 100 and you have the right size and that was I that was what I did so um, yeah try it out if you have a 3d printer if you don't have a 3d printer this uh, video is sadly not um, going to be uh, useful to you but maybe you think it's nice to follow along anyway luckily I have a meta quest 3 myself so I could compare colors and where to color what uh, so I know exactly how to color it and what color to color it in and here you can see the gray is really really dark um, so I am going to paint that over later I'm not sure I have that on the uh, video um, but anyway I am painting the black details in here first so that is this top side of the controllers it is the inside of the headset and then the three eyes in front of the headset. And here I checked the new color I mixed for the headset to make sure it fits my headset uh, even better. And then I am going to paint everything with this color. The controllers has this uh, strip that go around the wrist. And I am using three tiny th strings of sewing thread in black that I am braiding together. And I'm going to use that for the string around uh, the wrist here. I know this is really, really hard to see, but I made a loop and then I made a knot with the loop. And um, this is going to be the little hand um, ring or tie for the um, controllers. So I just made the loop and then I am going to cut off the excess underneath the loop. I made two of these loops, one for each of the controller handles here. And I'm using a tiny bit of my super glue uh, gel here and just carefully putting that onto the controller where this little strip are normally coming from. Um, and then I'm just gonna leave it to dry right there so the controllers are now all done 
Now to the hard part, uh, the headset. Uh, this headset is made without this little uh, plastic thing that is connected to your head or that is um, actually against your head. So I wanted to do that somehow. Um, and I decided to do that with a piece of black leather, but I needed to have some kind of shape um, for placing the um, leather onto this little headset. So I'm starting to uh, cut out a piece of paper that fits uh, into the small crevices around the headset itself. Um, and uh, then I am going to cut it into the width uh, for the leather piece um it's really hard to explain and it's really hard to show uh because it took me a long time to make this little shape for the headset and i'm very much off screen while doing this so i'm jumping a lot of it but here you see the shape on top that i found the weird shape is inwards to the headset and the more straightened side is outward and here i am gluing it on with tacky glue again off camera i'm really really sorry about that but this was really really difficult to do um, i will try to make uh, the pattern for you so that you can um, make this yourself if you have the 3d printer um, yeah for the strap around the head, I am just using a 3mm white ribbon and I am just, uh, um, I don't know what that calls, uh, I'm just giving it a little heat in the end so that it melts and it's not gonna run. And first I am going to uh, make kind of a strip here that is gonna go around the neck. Then I am gluing this little piece here down over like this and I am going to hold it right there until it has dried. When the glue has dried I just take it off and I cut off the extra of the ribbon here and again I'm heating that tiny piece of ribbon so that it won't fray. Anyway I'm using my super glue and I'm gluing the top part of the T here to each side of the headset. Remember the strip uh, that is sticking up here is going to be on top of the headset so that you are turning it the right way around before you glue it on. Uh, this is the old-fashioned headset strap so when you see the pictures of this together with my original um, Quest headset you will see another head strap but that's because I uh, used some money to get another kind of strip because this a uh, little strip here is not really good and supporting the headset enough for me. The last part you're going to see me do here is using some UV uh, gel uh, nail polish, also resin actually, uh, to um, give these three camera eyes here in front a little shine. You can do the same on the inside of the goggles where you have the little eyepieces they also have a little shine to them uh, and then I'm just going under my UV light and that's all for this little headset I know it's difficult but I had a lot of fun and I hope you did too thank you for watching and happy crafting